something a little bit different this week. Uh, I'm going to talk about a project I've been working on, on and off for the last few months. I'm calling it the Tokipona Library Project. Basically what this is, is an archive of any books or written works written in Tokipona. Why am I doing this? Well, Tokipona and the way it developed is a fairly unique thing in the world. Something that's probably going to be of interest to linguists and academics in future as Tokipona develops. Part of this is a lot of people have either written original works in Tokipona or done translation work. And this represents a body of literature. Even if we're just talking about translations, because as we know, translation is an art and not a science. There's a lot of ways to translate one sentence. And as Tokipona develops as a language, the way things will be translated into Tokipona will also evolve. And that's the kind of thing linguists are going to be very interested in in years or decades to come. The problem right now is that all of these documents are scattered in all sorts of places. They're scattered on personal websites, blogs, there's Google Docs links, forums, and all of these just kind of posted in all sorts of different communities on social media. Discord, Reddit, Twitter, Mastodon, Facebook. The first problem with this is that if somebody is seeking out a particular book or just is interested in reading Tokipona books in general, there's no easy way for them to hunt that down. That's actually not true. The community has got together a sort of Tokipona library that indexes a lot of these and links out to them. And this works fairly well, but it falls victim to the second problem that the Tokipona library project aims to solve, and that is link rot. If these documents are all hosted on people's individual websites, people's individual Google Drives, that means that any of them could go down, the link could break, the original document will no longer exist there. This has happened with the existing Tokipona library that exists. There are dead links at the end of that page. And this is a real shame because these are these are valuable documents at a kind of formative time in the development of Tokipona. So what I wanted to do was to create something that would archive these safely in a stable way so that they would be preserved for long into the future. The objectives of the Tokipona Library project are to archive Tokipona literature long-term locally. It has to handle multiple file types and multiple writing systems. One document could be available in a text file, a PDF, uh, a Word file, but also then in the Latin script and Cetalin Pono or Cetalin Cetalin, etc. It needs to properly credit everyone involved and also cite the sources for how you know who wrote it, what website this was originally downloaded from. And ideally, it should enable browsing and discovery. So it's one thing if somebody's looking for a particular book and can go to the library and find it. It's another thing for someone who just wants a Tokipona book in general and just wants to look through the catalogue and then discover a book that they didn't even know existed. And that is very valuable and a much more engaging way for people to consume Tokipona literature. So this is what I've put together at the moment. It is a series of Python programs that run on my computer and I have been saving down any Tokipona books that I can find. I have over 200 in it at the time of recording. I'm sure this is the tip of the iceberg, but a lot of the more prominent books that I'm aware of are already here. It might be good to turn this into a public website. I have no idea of the ethical implications of that. I have no idea if the authors would be happy with me re-uploading their work, even if properly credited, and I have to stress. I go to some pains to note the, the author and credit them properly when archiving these books. So for the moment, the archive only exists on my computer. But even that, the fact that an archive exists, I think is very valuable. So now on the Semilacine channel, I'm taking narration requests for any Tokipona book you want to hear spoken out loud, like an audiobook. I'm taking requests, partially just because I think that is a valuable thing to do, but also because um, I would like to get more book recommendations for Tokipona. So if you have any Tokipona books that you feel should be archived, please leave a link in the comments with as much information as you have. I would love that. I'm also hoping to start up a uh, Tokipona book club stream once a month where 
I would browse through the library archive that I have, read through particular books and discuss things about how they're written with the chat. So in summary, if you want to help me preserve an archive of every Tokipona book I can find, please recommend books in the comments. And if you're browsing YouTube and you see the Tokipona book club live stream in progress, please drop by, have a chat, lend your expertise. I think we'd all be better off for it. Ian Ponamute, Otawa Pona.